Poland's contribution to the outbreak of the war. After World War I, the victorious powers had allocated several former German territories to Poland. The province of West Prussia, with a merely 35 Polish, but a majoritarian German population, and the province of Posen and the most eastern part of Upper Silesia with the Polish majority. The city of Danzig, with a 97% German population, had become a so-called free state under the suzerainty of the League of Nations, thus a small republic. According to the Treaty of Versailles, particular customs rights postal, railway, traf traffic, harbor rights and authorities were vested to the state of Poland together with the external representation of the free state. However, Poland did not acknowledge the other sovereign rights that remained with the free state. It demanded that they be transferred to Poland. Poland applied to the League of Nations to be declared protectorate power for Danzig and to gain ultimate suzerainty over Danzig. It tried to garrison troops in Danzig and to establish its own postal network there. It attempted to exchange the passports of the people into Polish passports. It placed 24 Polish governmental officers in the city and it transferred warships into the port of Danzig. Even before Hitler came to power, the League of Nations had to intervene on 106 occasions in clashes between the Free State of Danzig and the Republic of Poland. The League of Nations rejected almost all of the Polish claims. In summer 1939, the disputes between Poland and Danzig culminated in a conflict about arming of Polish customs officials on Danzig territory. The Danzig Senate, which means the Danzig government, refused to accept the arming and terminated the cooperation of the Danzig and the Polish customs services. The Polish government, there open, threatened war to the free state. It was Hitler who three weeks before the actual outbreak of the war urged the president of the Senate of Danzig to give way. He said he didn't want a dispute with Poland. He wished to keep the door open for further negotiations. If it was Anybody who brought the Danzig issue to the boil, it was the state of Poland with its Danzig policy up to 1939. Now I will turn to the corridor problem. In 1921, Germany had to cede West Prussia to Poland and there was the territory between East Prussia and the German mainland. This part of West Prussia was called the Polish Corridor. Across West Prussia ran eight former German railway routes. You see them uh, in the sketch red marked. Two thirds of the transport running across these routes were carrying coal from German mines to the energy supply of East Prussia. The transit fees for it had to be paid to Poland in Sloty. This had been contractually agreed. However, after the world economic crisis, Germany did not have enough income in Sloty to cover the fees in full. From then on, Germany paid the offsetting amounts of Sloty in Reichsmark instead and wish to offset the balance against Polish debts. Poland rejected both. As a penalty, 
Poland closed one rail route between Germany and East Prussia after the other. And in 1936, it even threatened to block the corridor off completely. Thereby, East Prussia would have been exposed to economic ruin, something the Soviet Union had attempted 20 years later with the Berlin blockade in a similar fashion. This led to Hitler's second aim for negotiations with, or if necessary, a war against Poland, namely to gain an exterritorial rail link between Germany and East Prussia under German sovereignty and management and at its expense. I'm sure I need not dwell on the third reason for negotiations or for war. It is well known how Poland dealt with its 11.9 million people of national minorities. The Belarusians, the Ukrainians, the Jews and the Germans in their country. Hitler demanded that Poland should respect the minority rights of the Germans in Poland according to the guarantee in the Versailles Treaty and again in a later treaty concluded 1937. I should not omit that the Polish government in 1933 three times proposed the French government to open a two-front war against the midway Germany, what France refused. I believe that Poland had a great share in the responsibility of the outbreak of the war with its endless quarrels about Danzig and its threat to cut off Prussia, East Prussia from its energy supply. 